Hello and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 22 on Attingham Park. Right guys, I have changed it over to uh, November. As I said I would because, well, we, we had nothing else much left in that previous month. So there's no point us staying. Right, we're currently on 67% in the bunker. Yeah, that's weird. That bunker seems to be working way faster than it should be. Right guys, I have also got a couple of contracts on the go. Um... Long story short, this is just kind of where we're at. Um, that's a weird one. Yeah, I activated these yesterday um, on the off chance that they might just um, be going over winter for us. We have got a huge potato... Is it it's potatoes or sugar? It must be sugar beet because it's going to the sugar shack or the sugar the sugar business. Um, yeah, so we've got one of those on the go as well. Bear with me. I'm just making sure that we're literally in a good spot here. And you should go that way. Yeah. Uh, let me just. Sh I'm I'm trying to get daylight. Let me just get a little bit extra daylight. I went to six in the morning to try and set some things up for this episode, but. That'll do. That's pretty much... That's pretty much daylight right now. Um, keep an eye on things. Um, you're meant to be going to the shop. I don't understand. Yeah, I was just tweaking a couple of new... Uh, new courses. Yeah, you should be going to the shop. Here we go, guys. This is the, uh, the sugar that we've got going. Now, it has done technically one headland. I had to t test the... Uh, Test everything was working like that. Uh, yeah, trucks over there somewhere. Uh, over there, you can see there he's working on a second. He's going to go to the job. I was using this tractor yesterday just to tweak a couple of courses. But basically today, I just want to see if we've got any work that we can do uh, over on the farm. Like I said, hopefully that sugar job shouldn't be a problem. I think it might be a problem dropping off not the dropping off part but the the coming out of there and carrying on kind of thing uh what we've got over here we've got three thousand liters of food so that's still got plenty of food over here what have we got over here now uh wool let's have a look we've got a thousand liters of wool that's not going too bad at all but yeah looking really really nice right now that is technically ready to harvest but not good enough for us that is perfect. If we haven't got much to do, guys, we'll run and uh, do the trailer work ourselves over on that sugar bee. Uh, we'll get a lot of... Uh, we'll get the time increase so we can skip through November. I don't want to be in December forever. That much is sure. Have we got any liming contracts? That wouldn't be a bad... Although, then again, saying that... I was in the... We've got a liming contract. The only problem is the tractor I'd use on it not available <laughs> my dog's having the zoom is in a closed room what the hell yeah that's not bad for 10 grand yeah i don't yeah there's not over much work that's the thing um but this is this is definitely saying this is a field i wonder if it's worth putting a what? oh no that's not the one I want going to the shop. Ignore me. I'm sending the wrong JCB to the shop. I need you on the farm. Bugger. <laughs> well, story of my life today is this. Yeah, I need this one on the farm. I was looking for this one like, where did that go? And yeah, it turns out it's, uh, it's on the way to the shop. Yeah, it's because I had another JCB in the game. That one. <laughs> and that one is going to the shop. Yeah, as you can see, there's no fertilising contracts. I'm a little disappointed, actually, with the uh, fertilising jobs that haven't come up. I thought we'd have a couple of them over winter, and yeah, it would appear we haven't. So, yeah, a little bit, a little bit gutting on that one. No liming contracts, no fertilising contracts. But well, we will try and get the uh, fertilising done on that bit of grass. I, 
like I said, I, no one said what to do with that field, guys. So I'm thinking I might just go by that grass field. Only downside I've got now is I've got no bunker to put it in. Um, ooh, oh, I should have gone to the shop. I should have gone to the shop. If I'd have gone to the shop, I could have got the wood harvesting. I said I was going to clear that woodland out in winter. I said I was going to clear that woodland out this winter. Now, November, December, really good time to do it. We haven't got much other work to do. Yeah, go see. I should have... Uh, I should have sent it to the shop. Although our big trailer is currently on a mission at the moment to uh, do a sugar harvest. Right, I came here. I need the... Where is it? Over there. No, 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 no. Why? Oh, my God. I... Shall I just restart this episode? <laughs> I need... I brought the JCB back to do some fertilising. I could have used the Massey Ferguson to fertilise. Yeah, I want to get some wood chips um, sorted over in the in that tree area. Wood chips sell for a really good price on this uh, map. And if you rent a decent enough uh, the demolisher that I like to use. It is a mod from Farm Sim uh, 19. But it, I'm not, like I say, I'm not the biggest fan of tree work. Wood chips are usually a good price. On this map, wood chips are still a fantastic price. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking maybe that's what we'll uh, we'll do. But yeah, I think episodes may go back down to about 30-ish minutes or something, guys. Um, I have noticed since doing the longer videos, the they have plummeted in viewership, um, to be honest, which really does suck. A bit gutted about that. Guys, if you don't like longer videos, you could have just said, you know what I mean? I would just like not watching. But yeah, every video has got worse from... And I think the only thing different in the videos is the length of them. So we're going to try and go back to normal ones. But not today because I've kind of been faffing about so much. I need to get some work done today. Um, yeah, this is actually increasing. Even though this isn't registered as a field, this is actually increasing. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave it on. We'll leave this going just for now. But yeah, uh, we can get the... Uh, tree demolisher mulcher thing over there um, and then we'll the problem is I haven't got another big trailer I would have liked to have moved trim wood chips more than 11,000 litres a time then again there's nothing stopping us putting the wood chips in our silo for now so we could put it in the wood so, you know what I mean we could do 11 and a half thousand litres in our trailer at a time then we could actually look at uh, just putting them in the silo. Then once that sugar job's completed, we can uh, we can look at getting them sold in a larger quantity. I don't know when the best time for wood chips is. A long time since I've sold wood chips. But we'll uh, we'll find out in a minute. Let's just uh, quickly get this done. In theory, it's not a field, so I'm surprised it wanted fertilising. But it did, so we will. Simple as that. It did, so we will. Get that over there. Lovely. I'm not going to deny it a bit of fertiliser, because if we need to cut it again, we know we're going to get plenty off this field. I mean, we could have turned it into hay, for example. Uh, expected yield is still 59%. Did I not... Purchase the yes, right. So because it's not been ploughed out, it's going to leave it at fifty nine percent. You you suck. You really do suck. But I've done it. I can't say no one can say I didn't do that now. No one can say I didn't do that. Right. Um. I have got a JCB on loan at the moment, not through paying through that contract. I might use that. To send the uh, the tree the tree thing I need down, I am still thinking as well of buying that new slightly bigger trailer. Um, okay, Philip is not working. A little bit concerned with why Philip is. Oh, Philip is full. So why didn't you? That's why. 
Yeah, this is what I was doing yesterday, guys. Why I was... I put a course around this field. Because it was too big. So, yeah, now I don't have a problem. So, let's go into here. So, we need to go into... Um, woodwork, 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 wood, 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 Forestry, there we go. And it'll be right at the end. It's a really expensive piece of kit. We're going to rent. Um... Yeah, it's quite an expensive piece of kit. 6,300 quid. Now, I don't know if this is going to work exactly how I'd like, but money-wise, I mean. But I think it'll, it will be pretty good. Now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. We've been talking about it for just a little while now, actually, and we are going to dip in and buy the new trailer as well. Um, That's grain. That's grain. Right, so that's the biggest trailer we can get. We're not really happy with the tyre options, to be honest. Why am I paying for tyres? Um, tell you what, I'll go for. Oh, hang on, they're the cheapest tyres. Road, um, road tyres. Don't really like... They'll, they'll do, yeah. No, whoa, 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 they're expensive. Nine. Oh, there we go. Free tyres. We'll, we'll go for the free option. We're not bored about that. We're not bored about that. We're not bored about any of that there. We're not bored. We'll have it in green. We don't tend to have much in green. So we're going to buy that for 23 and a quarter. Um. What the? Why did... Why did you come here? Why didn't you empty? I don't I don't understand. Why didn't Oh my god, why did you come to the shop? Okay, why aren't you connecting? There we go. Um Why did you come to the shop? I <sighs> What? Why the hell did you come all the way up to the shop? You're meant to be automated in... Right, I might have to double check the, uh, the track. That's not right. He shouldn't have come to the shop. Weird. Weird. There we go. That's why he came to the shop. He had no other option. Although he could have done a U-turn at field three. Yeah, if you notice these blue lines, guys. These blue lines means it's a two-way course, basically. And, uh, yeah, that's why it's... I, I still don't understand why he, he... Why he's been such a useless bugger, to be honest. Right, so all I need to do here, if you connect these dots here, look. So you highlight that when it goes blue. Click it and click it to where you want it to go. Go screen. So that's now a one-way cost. Click the opposite side and go back. And it then becomes a blue-way cost. And just like that, you created... That's now a circle, basically. And just like that, it's a circle all the way around the field. Now, you don't normally have to do that, guys, and put a course around the edge of the field. But these fields are so big, it loses connection. And it's... To be honest, it's just worth it. Right, we've now got a bigger trailer. Um, 20,000 litres. Now, we're not going to sell the blue trailer. I do feel like 11,500 litre trailer is a good trailer to have around the farm in general. I wouldn't want to get much smaller anyway. Um, but, yeah, we've got a couple of upgrades on this. Slightly bigger. It's a little bit OP for what we need. I think the Valtra that we've got on loan would be pretty good for this. Tell you what I like about this one. If you look on this, guys, at the bottom at the back there, we can ha put a second trailer on this. We can make a train. Maybe we do get rid of the blue one and we get a second one of these. 
If we can have a train going, as what I call a road train, um, yeah, that might be uh, good. Sorry, I just had to quickly sneeze and that's why I kind of ended that sentence a bit quick and early. Yeah, maybe we, um, maybe the blue trailer will connect to this one, actually. I just don't want to have trailers that are miles too big for the farm at the moment. You know, we do have an unrealistic trailer that serves a purpose on our farm at the moment. That purpose being, you know, that it has to uh, just do like sugar contracts like that, potatoes, going to do forage work, grass work, just to keep it going. Now, in future, we're going to kind of keep grass work to bales. We can kind of move more bales than we can. Even with a 2,000 litre capacity trailer, it's still easier and better to move bales with... Uh, it's still easier and better to move bales than, uh, than anything else. Right, so I'm, I'm going to borrow this tractor, guys, because my trailer's been used, so it's not the end of the world. Did that really just give me... Wow. So, I'm not over bothered about stumps, per se. Um, we, we, we can get rid of them like this. Just got to go to the side. I don't understand why you have to go to the side, but it works for us. There we go. That's looking pretty good, though, to be fair. 60 <laughs> how many wood chips yeah this you see why i wanted to have the uh the big boy uh tool now we filled that trailer in one go in, in one tree <laughs> we really filled that really oh there we go then guys we've already filled one uh one trailer load already Wow, that is uh, crazy. I might leave the stumps, actually. We can get rid of the stumps afterwards. <laughs> that is insane. That is absolutely insane. Let's have a look what we can do here. Um, can we put wood chips? Oh, you'll be putting wood chips in there. Right, okay. This doesn't take wood chips. Oh, bugger. Ah, oh, oh. do you know something? I just can't win today, can I? I just can't. Oh, it might do. No, it does. It does. I was on the, uh, I was on the tool rather than the, uh, rather than the trailer. There we go. We'll get that into there. Lovely. We'll wait for that to come down. There we go. I know this is a bit unrealistic, guys, but I don't like doing tree work at all. I genuinely... Right, guys, if there's a bit of a weird uh, jump cut in there, guys, I do apologise about that. Um, family friend just came round and asked me for a huge favour. Um, so, yeah, I do, he shows up out of blue. But, that, but I'm, I'm good with that. I do appreciate it. He's done a lot for me uh, over the years, and he, he wanted a favour from me. So, yeah, sorry about the jump cut. We've obviously jumped, skipped a bit of time because I, I didn't plan on him coming. So, yeah. All good, all good. Um, I will try and edit the bit where my dog barks as well. I do apologise if my dog is barking. Um, just towards the end. I'll, I'll try and remember to edit it, but now the problem I've got is I don't know how long my, my recording's going. Because, uh, yeah, I, I stopped the recording. <laughs> but yeah, we'll we'll sort some out, I, uh, like I say. Someone comes around and needs my help, I am more than happy to help them. Especially when it's uh, someone who's done a lot for me over the years. Family friend. Yeah, basically local councillor. He, uh, he needed my he needed my help. He needed some like quotes for his uh, new election and and stuff and pictures with people from the you know from the public. Now apart from him being an Everton fan, we won't hold that against him for long. <laughs> but no, seriously. Uh, just kind of giving you a little heads up of why we kind of just disappeared and came back and uh, times jumped and stuff. Alright, that one does not want to disappear, does it? Yeah, it's a little bit... It's a little bit OP, is, uh, is this. But like I say, it's the quickest way to clear the land. For me, anyway. Like I say, I don't... 
I don't like doing woodwork. I never have done. And we're going to turn this into a into another yard, guys. That's why we're doing this. It's uh, got to be done. Yeah, I don't understand why I have to be at the side of it to get rid of some. But, hey, if it gets rid of the stumps, that's good enough for me. Um, hopefully, though, everything is still going hunky-dory. We might just have to quickly check on everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's, you know, like I say, he comes around, he's like, oh, you know, he's like, Matt, can you help me out? You know, I need I need some uh, local businesses and stuff to uh, help me out. And I'm like, dude, you don't even need to ask. Just show up. I just didn't think he was going to show up today and this early. Um, I'm just double checking in there, guys, because uh, I thought there were some wood chips in there, to be honest. But as you can see already over here, we've got a lot of uh, wood chips. Um, flash track is here. Just Okay, so you're going that way. I'm just going to go and double check everything, guys, while that's emptying. Right. So he's going there 15%. He's on his way there. Do you want to Do you want to watch this? See how it goes? Or do you want to... No, I'll tell you what. We'll just we'll just get back to doing what we were doing. I think that's going to be uh, gonna be best. Now, I'm hoping we'll have at least two or three trailers worth of wood chips. Well, I know we will. We've got at least one trailer with this next load 70,000 per per pop but yeah we've got plenty of wood chips coming there we go one big tree 30 wow see what I mean about wood chips though on this game it's just I prefer to do them. They just, it's so much easier. There we go. Only downside is we're just filling up that quickly. There will be a few trees we keep. Actually, what we might do is we might plant some new trees in, in return, actually. Um, like I said, this is my way of doing woodwork. I, I don't like it. I never have done. Um, I'm a bit gutted that trailer has now just done that to me. So let me get into my... Right, so... You... Yep, you're going to... You should turn right here. Why are you turning left through the farm? You're going to... Oh my god. It does need to go to the sugar place. I need to confirm this. Where are you taking this? Uh, harvesting sugar shack. Why didn't you go the BGA way? I... No, I'm... Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. I'm not using my big trailer. I got another trailer. I rented a trailer to do this contract. Oh, um, that's why it's grey and not blue. Oh, what an idiot. Yeah, I could have been doing this with more... With a bigger trailer, guys. This is why I have this, like, unrealistic trailer. Just to get these, like, what I call slow, boring jobs out of the way. Because let's be honest. They're not all the best jobs in the world. Um, but if I can hold 270,000 litres of wood chips in one go... That would speed things up absolutely no end. I don't really know why that worker, though, crossed the bridge and came through the farm. I'm not over bothered, to be honest. He'll, he'll do his job. It's just a weird way to go. There was a lot shorter way to go, but, hey, it's auto-drive. At the end of the day, we're not having to deal with that contract. Now, I don't want people thinking that, oh, yeah, but you're doing... You're doing a contract completely unrealistically. You're not even doing it. Yeah, but at the end of the day, guys, on Farm Sim 19, you could empty your harvester and deliver it. You know what I mean? It's, I don't feel like we're doing anything wrong, to be honest.
I can't believe I still had this trailer here. I thought we were using this trailer on that contract. Well, this will speed up the uh, the woodwork that we need to do. Yeah, I don't I don't remember how long my last part of my episode was. I'm a little bit torn now. On uh, have I have I done enough? Have I recorded enough? But yeah, I don't know how long this video is gonna be. Uh, completely. Uh, Completely caught out now on length of time. I could have just left it recording and chopped it out. And that's obviously not, you know, I could have done that, but I didn't know how long he was uh, gonna be here. Really? Really? Oh, that didn't even get rid of all of the stum. Right, okay, so we've got to be careful there. We've still got a stum. Okay, interesting. I can't seem to, uh, I can't seem to get rid of all these stumps now. Come on, drop back. There we go, there we go, there we go. There we go. So that got rid of that stump. Right, so it's just that one stump being slightly a pain in my ass. There we go. Like I say, some people might not like the way I'm doing this. I can I can understand where you're coming from. I just can't stand doing tree work. That's why for me the platinum edition was a complete waste of money. But I did like the equipment you got with it. You know the bigger the bigger equipment and things like that. You know for like uh, front loader work and I like the little Volvo tractor that was part of it. There we go. The problem is, if we carry on removing trees at this rate, we're going to have the uh, we're going to have protesters showing up at the farm, aren't we? Holding the little picket signs. You destroyed our trees. Well, guess what? It's my land, and I need to expand my farm. We need more storage. I'm gonna say, why aren't you? Uh, I was slightly stuck on that stump. This is really, like I say, some stumps just seem to be a little bit annoying. Right. But we do have a second stump that we need to uh, look at removing. It tries to take it, but it doesn't go anywhere. Right, 20%, let's have a look. Lovely, loving that. Right, so there's the other side of that stump. Can we maybe get it from this angle? Yeah, we got it from that angle instead. Perfect. 83% uh, full now. Oh. Lovely. Really, really liking how quickly this is uh, shooting through here now. There we go. Let's get that in there. Let's get that there. Perfect. Like I say, we will plant some trees back in once we've got sheds and stuff in place. I just don't know what we're going to need and where. So I don't want to bring too much in. Oh, I don't, you know, I don't want to be like, oh yeah, we'll leave this tree and then it just be in the way and I'd have to rent this machine. I don't want to have to keep renting this machine for... You know, it, it's quite an expensive tool to have to keep using. But as long as wood chips are as good a price as they are on this map, I am fantastic with uh, doing it this way. Let me just... While that's checking there then, guys, let's just go and check on our workers. The first plowing contract is nearly done. He has finished the uh, drop-off. So he dropped sugar off with no problems whatsoever. So I'm really, really impressed with uh, with him. Yeah, this capacity, guys, is 150,000 litres. Um, again, sugar. It's maybe five empties at the absolute most. It's 
yeah, I weren't, I weren't messing around with it. Just some contracts I feel, uh, I think he gave me two trailers that hold like 25,000, so a, a maximum as well. Not, not 25,000 each, 25 max. And I weren't, I weren't going to do that one trailer load at a time. And I know I'm using the JCB, but like I said, I have you, you know, I, I am paying to use this equipment. And it'll do for now. Come on. I know you're going. Lovely. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Hello. Why are you being so bloody awkward right now? There we go. There we go. Lovely. 20% full. Wow, I've only done that one or two trees. One. Yeah, this is, uh, this is going really well. I do think we're going to continue doing this over in... Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, I thought we'd, uh, I thought we got it all because it stopped. There we go. So we've got all that done now. Lovely. So we we'll lift that up there. We'll go a little bit further. Lovely. I'm done. Like those trees at the moment by that building, we'll leave them once to last. Although no, it's like I was saying before, wasn't it? I don't know what and where I'm going to need. Yeah, it's a weird one coming this way. I'm surprised it didn't go... I'm surprised it didn't go via the biogas. Hill 46 contract is done. That's our ploughing contract. That's handy. So our ploughing contract is now officially done. So well, that'll save us... Uh... That'll bring us in a little bit of money this winter. So that'll help pay for this machine. There goes the JCB. I do love that. Absolutely love seeing just tractors going to work. There we go. Yeah, like I say, guys, I know this way is unrealistic, but if I chop the trees down, I said I was going to have a £1,000 a tree. You know, that's just what I'd get default in wood. Just... And I was like, no, I want to do something different. And as far as I'm concerned, this is a different way of doing it. Plus, no one, no one else might have done it this way before. And I'm not saying that you need to do it this way. You know, this is just the way I like to do wood chips on this map. But that's about half a million litres of wood chips, guys. Half a million litres of wood chips we've got, I reckon, in storage now. That is crazy insane. Just going to say that right now. That is absolutely crazy insane. Wow. 600,000. Wow. <laughs> I thought half a million. Yeah, do you know something, guys? I think maybe this is a good spot to uh, maybe leave this episode. Um, like I say, I'm not sure on the time because obviously I got interrupted during this episode. It doesn't normally happen. Uh, to be honest, I thought it was a parcel, man, which is why I left the recording going. Um, but yeah, I think if we leave this here as we are, um, it gives us a little bit of extra woodwork we can do tomorrow. Or, yeah. Well, yeah, what is it tomorrow? It's Thursday. Yeah, so we've got one more episode of Attingham this week before we jump back over onto uh, Old Stream Farm. So, yeah, we'll get all this wood here taken down. Um, we might end up moving the line. I know, I'd actually, I tell you what, I'm not going to move that line just because I've already got it set into a course. I'll leave a couple of trees up for now. I haven't decided where the path's coming, you see. I have thought about moving my baler because we'll have more land soon 
getting rid of this fence and having the you know like the the path through here we could do that actually yeah so if we take these trees down hang on a minute hang on a minute yeah we'd have to get rid of that tree that tree and that tree that tree can stay that tree can stay so that tree there this tree here and then this could be our drive through we could leave that tree there because we we're here um yeah we'll have to get rid of this tree because i might as well put the back of a building to the back of this building it makes sense all right the dragon lady apparently has completed her task that is there lovely tell you what you drive to the bunker it might get stuck here though guys just because of the uh, fence Oh, I am surprised. Did all right. Oh, it was all right, was that? Oh, wow. Managed to take them corners really, really well. But yeah, basically, the idea was I did with this guy. This is going to run all winter. This will take a few episodes to finish. It's not the end of the world. It's far from it. It's, uh... We just leave it to it, basically. And as soon as it's ready, we'll, um... But what I'm going to do, once it's completed the contract, any extra sugar I'm going to leave on my farm. Because I would like to buy the sugar. If that makes sense, it would be nice to do that. Um, I'm just wondering, actually, if we should buy the, buy the sugar mill now. If we buy the sugar mill now, all that sugar... I know it's £80,000, guys, but all that sugar would be a production that we can sell. Oh, I'm I'm actually really interested. That, that's actually a really really good idea. Uh, but yeah, to give you an idea, I know I said I'm just about to end, but yeah, if we look on here, guys, wood chips seven hundred thousand liters. Um, lower cross wood chip. Ah, so the, right now the cheapest place for wood chip at uh, the best price is here. Actually, oh yeah. That is closer though. Oh, hang on a minute. Yeah, see, I don't really want to use the market stall to sell. It's a little bit OP selling there in my eyes. Um, but if you look at the uh, wood chips here. Why does it say 1.4 million wood chips? 700,000 pound in wood. <laughs> we could get a maximum price of like... Over half a million in wood chips. <laughs> that is absolutely crazy. Not a chance. I don't know where the rest of those wood chips are, though, guys, to be honest. Because um, we've only got 700,000 litres here. But in the next episode as well, guys, we will most likely be possibly selling some barley. Um, so that will be on the cards to do. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, guys. We have done something massively different. Even though it was slightly unrealistic, it was different. You can't say I'm not keeping it fresh. And until the next episode, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all later on.